guys how are we doing so dan from trading with dan here this is our forex update for the day so we will go straight over to those charts your us dollar obviously been going on a tear um, as we expected we we're bullish of this as of obviously the regime change um to inflation commodities up um dollar down etc etc obviously this is a dollar down play um, but yeah we've got the daily nine now though now so pretty strong move up so I mean, the candle hasn't closed yet. We could obviously get more movement on this candle today. Um, but um, yeah, this is basically the um, the level that we are um, looking at. Trade below that level. Yeah, maybe expect to, maybe expect to retrace. Probably only... Oh, didn't need to move that. In fact, we'll delete that now. Probably um, only really target as far as here. We'll just extend this across so we can see where this line's coming from um yeah and then obviously see how we interact with that level but i would expect it to get supported there and get more upside so yeah really td9 is a play we've got 12 hour nine as well uh where is it here we go yep 12 hour nine as well so this would be pretty powerful um and we believe we had a four hour nine uh yeah just there as well so but i'd really look for the um, 12 hour and, and the uh, daily nine um just to send us send us down not very far because we are we're bullish on this one fundamentally but yeah maybe down to this horizontal um so cable uh cable on the daily um looking bullish looking constructive having a bit of a retrace so yeah really the trade is just to buy above this level to sell below this level um and <laughs> that's it really it's just a breakout trade no real trade to get involved in here um, yeah, no real trade to get involved in here. The daily, daily 200, sorry, date, well, the daily, um, where is the daily 200? It must be up there somewhere. Oh, oh it's there. Um, yeah, sorry, we are just poking above the daily 200, but yeah, the daily 21 may come up in support price too as well. So I am bullish of this, but realistically, you want to buy a breakout above there. Nothing TD wise on the daily, nothing really TD wise on the fully, on the fully, on the four hour. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we were just in this little tra trading range, waiting for a breakout either to the up or the downside. Dollar index had a little bit of a bounce, no doubt, off that daily nine. There it is. Uh, sorry, daily nine. There's the daily nine. Um, oh no, there's not the daily nine. <laughs> daily nine's not here. Yeah. So yeah, um, having a bit of a front running of this. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm, I think we may get down to here, maybe spike below um, on the daily nine candle. But um, no real trade at the moment. Um, just waiting for these candles. Um, waiting for those candles. See what happens. Um, 12 hour nine. We're on the 12 hour nine. So we're pumping on the 12 hour nine um and we are uh, moving above the four hour nine so realistically um I'm, we obviously can't be bullish of this asset um but we're just really looking for a, a sell entry so we'll wait to see how these nines play out um if you're not already speculating longs at this support and with the nines but i wouldn't be and and yeah i'll be waiting just for the retrace and to sell the retrace for more weakness um euro pound very strong constructive we looked at this yesterday basically breaking above this level nothing td wise to slow us down um so yeah i mean this is realistically speaking um this is a is a buy uh maybe we're gonna form some sort of very um odd looking head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders um but um we will yeah we'll see very hard. could yeah i mean obviously could potentially be bullish we got picked up here picked up here um so realistically there there's about the neckline so a break of that we would um we would definitely target a move um pretty nicely higher um um if that is what is to play out obviously we're looking at this in the four hour we could flick over to a daily um doesn't look quite as unrealistic um as it maybe did um and also these kind of we can't see the same pattern here just because it's mainly wicks but um we do know it is there on the four hour aussie dollar swiss franc um yeah daily sell nine looks like it's getting front run looks like it couldn't hold above this resistance level um so yeah we'll have to see whether uh, well firstly whether we actually get the daily nine because obviously we could be trading lower than these candles so we it will get a, it will just turn to a, a red one um and yeah i mean realistically we won't be looking for a move because we've already played off it i would be looking for to get supported by the daily 21 here um and overall it is relatively bullish and relatively constructive so yeah i'd realistically be looking for a buy entry aussie dollar new zealand dollar a super wonky line there um and it's and it's straight <laughs> i 
I don't know how this happens. We'll just change that there um, over to the daily. I don't even think I straightened it out there. Oh, yeah, it's because we can't see it on the daily. But, yeah, the daily um, in a bit of a range here. There's your buy level above there. But I think that was obviously from a shorter time frame. But, yeah, still in a bit of a tight range here. Really waiting for breakouts below these. Uh, and nothing TD-wise to help us out at all either. Anything moving average-wise? No, these moving averages are all just basically flat. So, no real help there. Um, and, yeah, the 4 hour 9. So, this 4 hour 9 could get us moving to the upside, potentially. Um... I mean, it's getting very tight. You can kind of see the lines we're drawing, how many of them are they tightly together. When I mean, we just realistically want to break out of this range. Not really a lot to put in. I mean, what can we expect this to get us? Potentially back up to here. Um, it's not really, there's not a lot of meat on that bone, let's put it that way. US dollar, Japanese yen. Uh, let's go over to that daily first. Um, yeah, it's just flirting around this range. No real trade here. Nothing really to see, nothing really to do, nothing TV wise. Um, I don't know why it's not clicking to the 12 hour, um, but there won't be anything there anyway. Um, and the 4 hour, not much really either, just sort of range bound. I mean, this was a nice level for some buys. Um, but yeah, on the daily you can see, I mean, you see the similar level on the daily, not really doing much or going anywhere, moving average is flat as well. Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, looks like we may be dropping out, dropping out here, uh, potentially. Um, are we going to see some weakness in the Canadian dollar? Um, yeah, technically looking like we'll drop out. Um, not necessarily what I am the currency I'm the most bearish of, but I mean, if we do lose these levels and drop out of here, then yeah, we are obviously targeting, uh, targeting down here. So nothing TD wise to help us, but yeah, looking like we are we are dropping out here. Euro, Japanese yen. Look at that, guys. Daily nine though. Daily nine. So at the resistance as well. So realistically, a break below here. So very, it's a bullish, it's a bull, it's a bullish looking chart. We may just blast through this nine, so I wouldn't um, go trying to go jumping right now. Obviously, this resistance was the level to sell on the daily nine. That was the level to sell if you wanted to take a higher risk trade. But at the moment, um, just a game of waiting really. Potential sell below here or buying back above there. You see, we've got the twelve hour nine there as well, um, and then also. Um, we got the four hour nine, which reversed us literally just peaking above there. So that was a, that was a good entry there. Um, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar uh, to the daily. Yeah, trying to trying to pick itself up a bit here, but it has got room to run TD wires in the daily. So I mean, I wouldn't be looking to jump on this right away. Uh, but yeah, if it does reverse, it does reverse from here. But um, yeah, this is not. I mean, I realistically, I'd want to hit this resistance, hit this support, see what happens there. Um, I will just be looking for a new sell entry in this. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar uh, on the daily. Um, yeah, looking good. Just a little bit of a um, pullback today. I'm guessing we're going to be on some sort of note, but not on anything TD wise. A little bit of a pullback. Um, I mean, I wouldn't expect it to come as deep as here, but it could. Um, I would expect it to get picked up eventually and realistically just buy again back above that level there. Uh, four hour, anything to you with TD was in the four hour? No, nothing really to look at there. And uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar on the daily. Just having a little bit of a breather, but um, obviously it's bullish, looking, just looking like a bull flag here. Um, nothing TD wise to slow us down. Um, yeah, nothing TD wise to slow us down really. Um, yeah, it's just a case of, I mean, if we break back below here, then yeah, maybe target some downside. But realistically, again, it's just a, it's just a buy above this level. Um, do I want to draw another arrow one? Not a lot of point really. We'll just adjust this one. Just another, basically, a buy above that level. US dollar, Swiss franc, falling out of bed. Yeah, I mean, we knew we lost it. It lost it yesterday. This trend line, make it moving to the downside. I mean, nothing really to support this. Uh, I don't I think I did that yesterday. Nothing really to support this on the daily TD wise. Um, nothing really to support it on the TD wise. Sorry, TD wise. Um, oh, that is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Twelve hour TD nine. Maybe we are gonna come back and back test. Um, back test some resistance. Old old support as new resistance. But that would be a trade quite tight. Quite a lot of time left with this twelve hour. Most of it, in fact. So we don't know where this candle gonna close. Um, but yeah, if it, I mean, if it trades higher than there, I mean, realistically, then we'd have to move that up a bit. But just for the sake of drawing it now, we'll leave it there now. And the 4 9 as well. So maybe this will trigger a nice ent entry, even if it's back to that, um, back to here, back to this um, testing that um, that um, old um, support as new resistance. 
uh, daily. Um, yeah, daily hit the target obviously yesterday of this line, and now we're reversing back off that a bit. So we'll see what happens. See, we get a full on back test of here. Um, nothing really TD wise, but I did notice the TD on the four hour, which is here. Um, pretty much um, pretty much is reversing the price. So yeah, I mean potentially looking for a test back up to here um, Mainly based off that um, Mainly based off what is it based off <laughs> mainly based off just hitting that support really um, US dollar Mexican um, peso This is obviously still playing within this triangle um, but yeah um, looking to test the daily 21 um, and the well and the 50 period I mean we basically tested the daily 21 and we got rejected off it so that's what that is uh, nothing really TD wise looking tight this is just looking like it's waiting to fall out fall out of bed here guys this looks like one of those perfect setups descending triangle nice move we are looking for at the confirmation of that breakout and then <laughs> Finally brings us to our one that doesn't do anything and now it's just uh, business as usual um, Just hanging around and it's it's absolutely ridiculously tight range uh, on the four hour looks a bit bigger But I mean remember this is a four hour time frame. So there we go guys uh, Quickly whiz through them because I've got a nip out now, but yeah, thanks for listening remember not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor smash that thumbs up button and